Could all cars be electric? Could flying be carbon neutral? Could planting trees help limit global warming? For over 50 years, Shell Scenarios has asked questions to develop possible visions of the future. Our latest scenario explores a technically possible but challenging pathway for society to meet the goals of the Paris Agreement and limit global average temperature rise this century to well below 2 degrees Celsius from pre-industrial levels. According to our latest Shell scenario, electric cars could actually reach cost parity with internal combustion engine cars by 2025. By 2070, electricity could be used to power about 90% of total passenger vehicles, up from 1% today. To power this revolution on our roads, our scenario envisages a massive expansion of low-carbon sources of electricity. By 2070, an area approaching the size of Spain could be covered with solar panels. And together with other sources of renewable energy, like wind, biofuels, as well as nuclear energy, they could make up to 80% of the global energy supply. This is a huge transformation of the energy system. Aviation is a very tricky sector to decarbonize. That comes from both the kinds of fuels that are used in aviation, as well as from the demand side, where people are expecting more and more access to flying. Carbon sinks provide a mechanism to balance out those emissions that are continuing to be emitted from the aviation sector. Take the example of switchgrass. It's a fast-growing plant, and as it grows, it absorbs CO2 from the atmosphere. Now, this plant can also be used to generate electricity by burning it. And then if we capture the emissions through, say, carbon capture and storage, then that can compensate for the emissions being let into the atmosphere from aviation. Our scenario outlines actions that could help limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Now, this is actually quite challenging. It requires action concurrently by governments, consumers and industry to get the right policies in place. But there's something required in addition to be able to achieve this. And that can be done with large-scale reforestation. It needs to be large-scale because it needs to cover an area the size of Brazil. This could help take out an additional 10 billion tonnes of CO2 per year from the atmosphere by the year 2070. That's huge. And in addition to other elements included in our scenario, could help limit global average temperature rise this century to 1.5 degrees Celsius. This vision of the future is the Shell Sky Scenario. It's what could happen if government policy supports the transition to a low carbon economy and if businesses innovate to find new ways to supply and consume energy. And consumers demand lower carbon products and energy services. <laughs>